If I thought the fenders were a pain to do, this is going to be an extra special level of hell. Now, my truck will never be something that isn't utilized and used. I will always haul things. I will always throw something in the back. But if we're doing this, we might as well take care of things we can. And unfortunately, lots of curves, lots of little movements, but uh, everywhere has been dented in. Why? Because we haul shit in this thing. So, it'll be the next couple days of my life. Maybe even a week if I truly fuck it up. Be honest, I'm not exactly feeling confident right now, but what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna see how well I can actually match that curve right there on the top of the tailgate. Um, I have been learning a lot about body filler in this lovely process um, in a very, very sick way. I do enjoy this. Um, it is frustrating. It is not easy, but it really does speak to my anal retentive side. So I am a meticulous man and this really does speak to that side of me. So let's see. Oh, I can already tell this is gonna suck. But we're gonna try our best to kind of put some mud on it and create a curve that I can then sand down and make look pretty because I want this to be a pretty looking truck but at the same time there's a little bit of my give a damn that is broken and you just want it to look good but how much do you care because this is not going to be a show truck. This is a truck that will get used on a daily basis and haul shit. Uh, I have every intention to throw wood in the back and move wood or anything else I want to do with it. So, yeah, this is going to suck.
12 hours of Bondo and sanding, and we got our report from Sean. Um, see all these little circles? Yeah, downside. That's where I didn't do it good enough, which, let's be honest, I've never done this before, so the fact of the matter is, I got a D, and, uh, I mean, you can't spell diploma without at least one D, but as you can see, I got a lot of stuff to work on with all these circles. Not only that, the bed at home still needs to be done as well. Bed I did a lot better on. Um, curves, things like that, this is just kind of a pain in the ass. And for the record, there she is. Still alive, just sad. If nothing, though, we have learned that I can be taught. I can do this. And uh, just means I got another entire week of this joy. Hey, but he kind of gave me the verbal equivalency of a participation robot, uh, ribbon. So I guess going to be like one of the kids in school now. That's our update. Yesterday I was told my fenders weren't good enough and I got a D. Well, I graduated with a 3.87. Ds aren't acceptable. So uh, I've been doing this all today by myself. I had to basically and make that thing flat. Uh, Mom is going to be the one to critique real quick. Remember I don't have feelings, but also remember that you love me more than your other child that's not here right now. How'd I do? I mean, is there any wobbles? Is there any... There's no wobbles. It's very level, very smooth. I mean, I, I'm shooting for a... I don't know a... who would give you a D. Sean gave me a D yesterday. I know Sean did, but I would give you an A+. Plus. I wouldn't go that far. I'm hoping for like a high B, low A. Oh, this is much nicer. There's no... I'm not feeling anything. Yeah, the... Uh... Special Ed one's the other fender. Whoops, right there. Oh, wait. Yeah. Right there. See, and I think that's what that is. I don't, I can't quite figure that out, but again, I'm trying my best. Oh, no, that, no, this is the Special Ed fender. This is the one that gave me all the problems. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Very good. time uh sean is now returned to see how i did how, how did you man are we it's the bed is ready for primer he can be taught all right now now we get to do this yay more sanding 